name is Michael and today we're going to be talking about human instincts and I'm going to define humanity to you. So what it is really to be human? It is the ability to feel a connection between you and the other individual in a sense where you both agree on something. It is the moral value that humans love and humanity to be defined in its better state of mind is simply a person that is functioning by human animal instincts within a nature natural system of equality based on physical factors that could be a contribution to the association of one's internal being and one's external being within the surroundings he is located within. So as a human, I'm going to be rotating. So as a human, if I fall into apathy, I'm going to get into the idea that I'm going to build up weight. And that weight is going to be contradicting to the idea of me running, but that weight is going to be validifying to my nature of nobility and my ability to actually be noble and stay. Weight was a sign of uh, high intellect uh, in culture and uh, the ability to sustain yourself and the ability to sustain a cult family whatsoever. Now, a lot of people who gain a lot of weight, they're not really liking people who are skinny because skinny people, they're very tricky, fragile, they move quick, they're very elastic, and they're, they're quick to make decisions. And uh, heavy personality types, they go right through the boulder and the rock while quick individuals, they just fle are very flexible and uh, very organized and they don't really mind lots of things that happens to them in, in a sense of uh, if people scream at them they wouldn't mind it as much because they know that they could adapt to the system to the environment so let's say what we're going to discuss some nihilism and existentialism here so nihilistically there is no purpose to be fat well there is a purpose to be fat the purpose of you being fat is a representation to others within society and the social norm now if you were skinny you would also represent something and that would be a positive representation because there are uh, factors that are leading both in negative and positive directions and the negative uh, directions of factors they lead you to having a logical disadvantage in life and making you more of a primitive human being than an individual who is developed and can see further perspectives of the future and be able in the end when we all die we have this association maybe before the purgatory before going to hell or heaven where we're going to be asked what kind of contribution did we, we do to the world and if we were always just sad because we were fat at other people we're not really making a contribution or let's say we were fat and we were sad at other people and we became a leader in society so we would have to lead people who were going to be dying from obesity with our intellect to make them skinny and make them motivated to work out and be in good shape so this is something to consider now looking at humanity to define us what are we we are cells and what are, first we are not cells sorry we are made out of cells and these cells have no purpose for movement unless we dictate them to move and we are similar to the nature of prehistoric humans without all this technology we would still be there we would still live their lifestyle so why does humanity still relate to the animalistic nature of being who they are screwing up uh, video presentations being emotional in uh, wrong ways having uh, bad contingencies of hate why is this all interconnected into a being that wants to develop for the future and someone who wants to seek happiness goes and seeks out something that wouldn't make any sense and absolutely goes um, uh, on the sorry to the opposite direction in life and makes no difference at all well may, maybe it does make a difference he gets motivated 
after his entire life, after seeking perspectives, perceptions, ideals on what he wants to do, on who he wants to become, and he realizes that everything he was doing created him another image of his own personality, and he didn't get where he wanted to start off going. So that's very important to consider. And there is this idea that, what is humanity? Humanity is a system. We are composed of systems. There is one uh, system, the digestive tract system, the skeletal system, the muscle, muscle fiber system. So we are already a system. We're one huge system within many systems. Now, to INTP types. What do you think about the world if you were to take humanity as itself and take our ability to make any influence within our surroundings of uh, giving the capable tools of communication, uh, sign language, the ability to interact with movement and objects, and the ability to study forces of nature, to be able to really make a change, let's say, again, uh, I know a lot of people will not like this, but... Um, we live maybe in a Illuminati matrix system where we have no uh, control over what happens to us in any way. So as a human, as a system, uh, let's think about philosophy a little bit and go back to Socrates as he mentions that there is an end and a beginning to every action. And that is true. Our systems, they work in a circular fashion and they regenerate themselves or require resources to be sustained. A human purpose is simply the ability to live on in any state of mind, to be able to think forwardly in a fashion where your purpose is still intact or, yeah, that is still intact uh, with your living. So let's say you have a purpose, but you can't sustain that purpose because you feel that there is other things that you want to do, you're losing your purpose that way. But you're also gaining another purpose because you're still supplying your life. So there's two purposes. There's a purpose to live and there's a purpose to know. It's not just, oh, I'm going to lose all my purposes and I'm just going to know. Well, it doesn't work that way because we're going to get fat. We're going to we're gonna lose shape. We're we're not gonna make we're not gonna make a change. Okay, so um, about these systems, I came up with a theory with uh, six of my INTP friends. Is that what if we take a regular human being and look at his systems individually and realize that one system correlates to another, like the skeletal tract and the muscle fiber system. Together, they work to make us move in directions that we desire and that is still primitive humanity but it is an organized autonomic system within us and those two systems work together so there's a correlation of ideas based on this observation that we could generate into our mind like thinking about a system having a purpose that leaves the system to another system creating us to be human, creating us to understand perspectives and falsify the truth in uh, the views of what is reality. Because reality is not really a system, well, it actually it is a system. But our perception is a system within reality. We are part of the purpose of reality because one guy could press a button and I'll send a nuke and the whole entire world will blow up with, uh, with a good hydrogen bomb and that's it. And, and reality would be gone or at least our earth will be gone. But we could also channel, um, I don't know, we could also, um, well I don't want to tell you guys how to destroy the world, but uh, we could also channel uh, a black hole. Yeah, like they're doing in America right now in one of the hangars. They're building a black hole, and if, if that black hole gets channeled and starts whirling everything in, then we would destroy our galaxy eventually, and we would create a heat, heat combustion uh, particle, um, matter expanding universe, where um, dark matter, no, sorry, uh, gravity, 
gravity influenced center of dark matter expanding universe where dark matter would expand faster than um, gravity and explode into millions of pieces creating a galaxy that would never exist again so see like we could assume things this way anyways let's be human we're rotating because we're human we're human we're just human because we gotta rotate this is human uh, humanity 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 what it's like to be philosopher what it's like to be philosopher humanity learn it